Hello everyone. Welcome to my new YouTube channel, R86 Chemistry. This will be the home for our lecture material. If you're a student in either Chem 222 or Chem 228 during the spring 2020 term at Texas A&M University. Uh, I eventually will be sharing that lecture material in the form of YouTube movies. So uh, certainly uh, stay tuned. Uh, via uh, email and also on a campus where I anticipate I'll be posting uh, the URLs of the videos as I make them. I hope to start doing that within a day or two. Uh, probably they will look something like this. I'm planning at the moment, unless we find something that can work even better, uh, I'm planning to have a chem draw window open, as you see here, where I can draw structures as we go. And I think you will all agree this is a good deal neater than my handwriting. And actually, I can draw structures pretty quickly on ChemDraw as well. Uh, and then uh, on this side of the screen here, I can uh, project our class notes. So that at the moment is how I'm planning on doing it. We'll see how it goes. We can, uh, we can make changes as we go as well. Uh, today, I wanted to share with you a bit of news I heard over the radio. Uh, this particular compound is very hot in the news today. Its, it's trade name is hydroxychloroquine, but its, uh, its IUPAC name would look something like this, which I will not bother to try to say. Uh, I think it's a lot easier to say hydroxychloroquine. The reason this compound is in the news is because it was just approved by the FDA for use against the COVID-19 virus, for which it's showing a tremendous amount of promise. Uh, structurally, this is something I think that we can all understand, whether you're in my Chem 222 or my Chem 228 course. Not a terribly complicated molecule. Uh, this bicyclic aromatic system with a benzene ring fused to a pyridine ring uh, is called a quinoline ring or quinoline system. Uh, of course, it is the chlorine which made its way into the name along with the uh, alcohol OH group or hydroxy. Uh, besides those functional groups, basically we have two amines, one secondary and one tertiary. And that's about it, a uh, fairly straightforward molecule. There is one and only one chiral carbon in the molecule. Uh, I couldn't tell when I looked at Wikipedia uh, at first because they didn't specify the stereochemistry in their flat structure. But when you look at the 3D structure, which incidentally I've put in as my, um, my logo for my YouTube channel, but if you look carefully at this, or at least when I do, it looks to me like the methyl group is pointing back, and so we should draw it with a dotted line. Uh, the reason this material was approved for this use so quickly is because it's not a new compound at all. Uh, this compound is quite familiar already uh, in the pharmaceutical industry. It's used against malaria, it's used against lupus, against um, rheumatoid arthritis, and quite a number of other conditions as well. So it would seem that this material has uh, some, uh, some rather powerful action against both parasites and viruses. So I think this is all very good news. Uh, other than that, as I said, please stay tuned. Please check your email for updates and also on the campus as well. And I look forward to seeing you soon, both on this channel and uh, by office hours as well. Take care and be safe.